Well guys, here it sits. We came out and we replaced it the other night. We had a huge crane, probably biggest crane I ever saw in my life, honestly. Pretty damn big. We took the old one down with the legs and everything. We took it down onto the parking lot, took the legs off of the old one and put the legs on this new one here, down there. And then we craned it all the way back up here. It was really quite easy. It was not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Pretty easy. You got input number two, black goes to zero, white goes to signal, and red goes to 12 volt. Okay. All right. Easy enough, right? Mm hmm. But this is the new one. I come back today because I've got two liquid line dryers that I need to switch out. Dryer cores whatever they're called, you know, those things. Damn, talk about rusted out. Wow. There's my dryer in there. Pump down. For those of you that don't know, we pump down over there. We shut the valve off down there so that we can pump the circuit down and the receiver, the condenser, will hold it all. We do it like that. On every system. That's how it's supposed to go. Yep. Okay, it's back on and going. Let's go take a look at the graph and see how hot the circuits got individually and grab our uh, leak check bubbles. Huh, no alarms? Huh. Oh yeah, we warmed up a little bit. You see all our cases, they were pretty freaking frozen cold. I mean, they still are, but you know. For example, we look at, let's see, let's look at this one, that's four degrees. We'll look at the graph and see the graph has it down in the negatives. So this is my off period right here. That's a little more like how it's supposed to look.